Truck drivers travel a certain distance and then they have a rest before traveling further. A driver keeps record of the distance traveled on eight trips and the amount of time that he rested before he continued his journey. Okay, so for example, um, when he traveled um, 180 kilometers, he then rested for 20 minutes. When he traveled for 200 kilometers, then he rested for 25 minutes. So now the first question says, determine the equation of the least squares regression line. So that is um, a formula that is on your formula sheet, right at the end of the formula sheet. And so you need to go plug this data into your calculator and then get the A and the B value. You can also get the correlation coefficient, which is the R value, which is something that they're asking for over here. Um, so let's go plug all this data into our calculator now. So your first step is just to put your calculator into stat mode and then don't use one minus VAR, that's grade 11 statistics, use A plus BX and then just go input the data. So for example, 180, then I do the next X value, which is 200, then 400, you get the idea. And then after that's all done, then you're gonna go to the Y column and you're just gonna start doing the Y values like 20, 25. Okay, so I'm not going to let you watch all of that. You get the idea. Once all the data has been input, then you can just press the AC button, press uh, shift, press the number one, then go to five, which stands for regression. And then there we can get our A, B, and R. So for A, you press one equals. Just want to write that down and we'll keep it to two decimal places. So minus 23.85. Then to get B, you're just going to go shift one again. 5 and then B, press equals 0, 0,23. And then I'm just going to go get the R value as well because they do ask us that in question 1.3. So you just go here and then R is with the 3, but then press equals 0 0.98. Okay, so we can then fill in our equation because we now know that A is negative 23.85, B is 0 0.23. X. Okay, so that's question 1.1 complete. 1.2. If a truck driver travels 550 kilometers, so that's the X value, predict the time that he would rest. Okay, so you just use your formula and you see these are the X values and they gave us the X value as 550 like that. And if you do that, you should get 102.65 um, 102 minutes. Next question, write down the correlation coefficient. Well, we worked that out, remember, as R, which was 0 0.98. Now they're asking you to comment on that. So remember that I've told you that if you get one or minus one, that is a perfect correlation. But anything bigger than 0 0.8 is gonna be strong. Or anything, um, so let me quickly show you on a number line. So if you can have minus one and one, uh, then you get like 0 0.8, 0 0.5, that's negative, that's negative. Um, okay, let's do this a bit better. Let's put 0 there, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and then 1, minus 1, minus 0 0.8, 0 0.8. So typically anything more than 0 0.8 and then smaller than there, that is considered to be very strong. The negative just means that the gradient is negative. It doesn't mean anything else, so that's strong. Okay, so if you're getting 0 0.98, that is gonna be a strong. Now, because it's positive, you must say positive. So you can say strong positive correlation. At each stop, the truck driver spends money on food. The amount spent in rands is given below. Okay, so at the first stop, the person spent 100 rand, 150 rand. Calculate the mean. So mean is easy. You just add all these numbers together and divide by how many numbers there are. So you can also do it on the calculator. If you have to input all the data, then it does also work on the calculator. But I'm not going to go through that now. If you know how to do that method, you can do it. Plus 50, plus 180, plus 200, plus 190, divided by how many numbers there are, which is eight, and that's 150 rand. So on average, this person spends about 150 rand each stop. Calculate the standard deviation. Okay, now this one, we're gonna put the data onto the calculator. Okay, so you're gonna put your calculator into stat mode. Now you're gonna use the grade 11 of one minus VAR, 
you're gonna input your data, 100, 150, uh, 130, you get the idea. Once all the data has been input, you can press AC, press shift, press one. Now, because it's a grade 11 statistics, you're gonna go to VAR, and then here you can get different things. If you press number two, that'll give you the average, which we worked out as 150. If you look at the number three, it's got like a little weird apple funny sign. That is your standard deviation. Press equals, and there we go. 50.50 if we round to two decimals. 50.50, so 50.50. This one says, at how many stops did the driver spend an amount that was less then one standard deviation below the mean. Okay, so the mean is 150. The standard deviation is 50.50. So they wanna know if you go one standard deviation less than the mean. So that means you're gonna go 150 minus 50.50, and that'll give us 99 Rand 50. 99 Rand 50. So they wanna know at how many stops did the driver spend an amount that was less than one standard deviation below the mean? So in how many stops did the driver spend even less than that? So that would be only once, so one. 